you know, there are those um, G G L. GLP ones that right. are popular right now, and that's a whole other podcast I can't wait to do. Right, because I well, have so many questions about let, that. Let's just talk for a minute about drugs, though. Sure. Okay, because um, there's only one drug that's been approved for pre-diabetes, mm. and that's metformin. And metformin is an old medication, been around a long time, very nice medication, been around sixty years, inexpensive. Honestly, it's not the best treatment for pre-diabetes. Mm. So the best treatment for G- pre-diabetes is GLP-1s. Uh. Um, they are extremely effective for prediabetes, but not approved for prediabetes. Why? Because of the cost. Think about 100 million people taking expensive drugs like that, We'd right? We'd have to have a GLP-1 factory in every city. Oh. And I'm not saying everybody with prediabetes needs a GLP-1. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying, though, is that if somebody with prediabetes really needs something, that's the drug class that works the best. Right. Right. Well, and that's what it was initially put on the market for. For diabetes. For diabetes. diabetes. Not pre-diabetes. 